Welcome to Electrical Stuff. This is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in building sector. Today's our topic is how to cast cast resin bus bars. Let us see theoretical part in this video. Usually bus bars are used to carry the electrical current from one place to another place. In this picture you are seeing these are the bus bars. These bus bars are connecting through a joint block. This is called the joint block. So this part shall be insulated. So how to do this insulation? Let's see in our slides. Now let's see the what are the points to be considered while the casting. First point, clean the bus bar joints with the help of the blower with the fine cloth we have to be clean all the dust particles uh, in between the bus bars. Second thing, alignment have to be checked. So your bus bar should be like this, straight 90 degrees. So they should not be inclined upwards or downwards. So with the help of spirit level, you can check the alignment. And third one, the check the torque. So like uh, this is the picture. If you look at this picture, you can see this one. This is the two bus bars we are coupling. So this with the help of torque range, you will be checked that this torque should be set at 83 Newton meter. So different different bus bar sizes, the torque uh, Newton meter will be different. So you have to be check required torque you are achieving or no. And fourth point, the joint, joint span length is not more than 250. So if you look at this one, when, when you are jointing this one, so you are verifying 250 mm there or no, you have to be considered this point. Uh, it will be varies to the manufacturer to the manufacturer. So usually it is around 250 mm. So what, what it means, because this is the two bus bars are coupled like inside like this. So there should not be any gaps or anything. So this should be fixed like this way. So before casting the bus bars, we have to be perform few tests. What are those test tests? Let us see. First one, you have to be perform insulation resistant test. So there is a R, Y, B neutral terminals there. Whether it is short or no, we will be verifying through this insulation resistance test. And then continuity test. So there is a continuity between the, uh, between the two joints. There are no, we will be check it. And third one is contact resistance test. So what is if you are joining this contact? So whether this contact resistance, how much? So we will be perform these three tests before casting the bus bar. This have to be, pre, these are the pre-checks. Now, how to prepare casting material? So now, now let us see the casting material preparation. Casting materials are three types. First one is a filler and second one is a resin and third one is the hardener. These are the varies from the manufacturer to manufacturer. What are these three material? Let me explain you. This usually filler is a sand type of material. Inset like a sand, sand is there. And resin and hardener is a chemical compound. Usually these makes uh, uh, hardener, adhesive uh, nature will be coming. So let, let me, uh, let us uh, see the preparation. Step one is you have to be do resin and hardener. You have to be mix. Put resin A and B, hardener B material into a some small container like this tub, whatever you call this one. In this one, you will be mixed for one minute. Like it will be stir mixing very good. After that, you have to be now you have to be add your third material that is your uh, filler, filler or sand you have to be mixed properly up to five to six minutes. So total the duration like a two, two plus seven or one plus five up to six to seven minutes, you have to be mixed properly. After this one, we will fix the first step molds. So how to fix the molds? See, if you look, this is your bus bar. Bus bar, if you consider this bus bar A and this is a bus bar B. So if you are coupling this together, so from the center, 
you have to be maintain 70 mm you have to be fix this mold you will be fix this mold like this this mold contain rubber gasket this you see this is the rubber gasket here also you will feel the rubber gaskets so with the rubber gasket you will be fix this one after fixing this one uh, just uh, what you stir the mixture immediately pour inside with the tap with the help of the hammers you will be soft hammers there rubber hammers so with the help of rubber hammers you will be uh, keep uh, knocking like this way so that the material will be go inside ensure that there should not be bubbles inside this casting this is the video thanks for watching so all this process i will be in next my video i will show you with a practical so stay tuned to the electrical stuff do like share and subscribe to electrical stuff show your love electrical stuff so that i can make more videos Thank you. Good day.